when a shape gets bigger or smaller, we can call that transformation and enlargement. In the example here, we've got an enlargement and we need to describe fully the transformation that maps A onto B. So there are three bits of information we need to describe an enlargement. The first one is that it is an enlargement. So we write enlargement. We need a scale factor. So what do you multiply the lengths in shape A by to get shape B? So shape A was two along. So two times the scale factor equals shape B is five along. So two times what equals five? Half both sides. The scale factor is 2.5. So we've got an enlargement scale factor 2.5. And we also need to know the center of enlargement. So I'll write center. To find the center of enlargement, we can join up the points that go together. So join up this top corner with the corner down here. Join up this point on B with the same point on A. And this point on B with the same point on A. And we can see they all meet at the origin. So the center of enlargement is at the origin. What we could also do to check that is if we started at the origin, we go two across and two up to get to this point on A. If I multiply that by 2.5, so two times 2.5, two and a half twos is five. So five along and five up to get to the same point on B. So the distance to get from the center of enlargement to a point on A times the scale factor is the distance to get there on B. Okay, here's one for you to try. So describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So again, we can see it's an enlargement. The shape has got bigger. So the first bit of information is enlargement. We need a scale factor. So it was three along and now it's six along. It was two up, now it's four up. It's doubled, it's been multiplied by two. So scale factor two and the center of enlargement, we can join up the points And I think it's going to be the origin again. So again, the center is at the origin. It was one across two up. If we double that, two across four up to the same point on the other shape. Here's a different question. Describe fully the transformation that maps A onto B. So we can see it's got smaller, A has got smaller to get to B, but it's still an enlargement. So it can get bigger or smaller with an enlargement. What's the scale factor? So what have we multiplied the lengths of A by to get B? So if A was four up, B is two up, a was six across, B is three across. The scale factor is half or 0 0.5. And the center of enlargement, again, if we join up the points, we should see where they all meet and that will be the center of enlargement. So they all meet at negative six, six. So the center of enlargement is negative six, six. And if we checked with a point, so to get from the center of enlargement to this point, the top corner of A, we went along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
down one, two, three, four, five, six. So a long 10 down six. If we half that, we'd go a long five down three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, one for you to try. So describe the transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. So again, we can see that we've got an enlargement. The shape has got smaller. What is the scale factor? So it was three along. Now it's one along the base. So it was three, now it's one. So three times the scale factor equals one. Divide both sides by three. The scale factor is one third. And the third bit of information is the center of enlargement. So we need three bits of information. We need to know it's an enlargement. We know the scale factor and the center of enlargement. So if we join up the points, so join the top left corner to the top left corner. Join the top right corner to the top right corner. We join the bottom left to the bottom left. And the bottom right to the bottom right. And we can see that the center is at six negative six. Six negative six. Here we have a different question. This time we need to enlarge the shape. So the question says enlarge triangle A by scale factor three center at the origin. So the center of enlargement is at zero, zero, the origin. And with the scale factors at three, it's gonna be three times as big. So I'm gonna find a point by looking at the distance. So to get to this bottom corner, I go a long one up two at the moment. I'm gonna multiply that by three. So what is a long one up two multiplied by three? So we'll, we'll be going a long three and then up six, so two, four, six. So that's gonna be the bottom corner of the shape and it's gonna be three times as big. So we were going up one, we're now going up three. We were going a long two, we're now gonna go a long six. So there is our new shape. And if we want to check, we can join up the points. So join up the points that go together. So each corner with the same corner on the other shape. And we can see they all go back to the center of enlargement. So we know we've done it correctly. Here's one for you to try. So enlarge shape A by scale factor two, center at six, four. So the scale factor is two, it's gonna double in size. And I'm gonna start by picking a point. So to get to this top corner, I went along, well, back three and down one. I'm gonna double that. It's gonna be twice as far. So the scale factor is two double this so that would be a long six back six down two so back six down two so that's going to be the top corner and i'm just going to draw the shape now so along the top it was three now it's going to be six it's doubled so three six and then Well, it was down two along one. So now it's gonna be down four along two. So into there, the base is gonna be two. Then it will join back up. We could have done each point separately. So we could have gone, we could have said I need to go along six, down one, so I'll double that and go along 12. 8, 10, 12, down 2. Let's check we've done it right. So if we join up our purple point to our purple point, 
our green point to our green point. We'll join our yellow point to our yellow point and our blue point to our blue point and they should all go through the center of enlargement. So we can see we've done it correctly. And again, we're enlarging the shape. This time we've got a, well, it's gonna get smaller. So the scale factor is a third this time and the centers at the origin. So the center of enlargement is at zero, zero. To get to the bottom corner of triangle A, it was along six, up six, the scale factor is one third, so a third of that divided it by three means we're going along two, up two. So that's going to be the bottom of the shape now. It was three along and three up. A third of that divided it by three is going to be one along and one up. So that is going to be our new triangle. And if we join up the points, we can check that they all go through, all go back to the center of enlargement. And we've got another one here. So if you can give this one a go, do that now. So enlarge shape A by scale factor 0 0.5, we're halving it, center 2, 2. So the center of enlargement is at 2, 2 this time, and we're halving the size of it. So again, to find a point, I'm going to look at how far I go now. So right to up four now, and we're halving that distance. So what's half of a long two then up four? That's going to be a long one, half as far, and up two, which is half as far. So that's going to be the bottom corner now. It was two tall. We're half in that. So now it's one tall. And it was two, four, six along. It's going to be half of that, which is three. So there is our new triangle. And again, we can check our answer by joining the points up. And they all meet at the center of enlargement. So we've got two questions to finish up. If you can pause the video and give these a go, do that now. The first question says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. There are three bits of information we need to describe an enlargement. The first one is that it is an enlargement. So it is an enlargement. What is the scale factor? The second bit of information is scale factor. So shape A was one along the bottom and a base of one. Shape B has got a base of three. So one times what? What times one makes three? That's three. The scale factor is three, it's three times as big. And now we need to know the center of enlargement. To find the center of enlargement, we can join up the points. So the same point on A and B, joined up and they should all meet at the same place, which is the center of enlargement. And we can see that all of the points meet at five, five. So the center of enlargement is at five, five. Question two says enlarge shape A by a scale factor of two, so twice as big, center negative six, four. So the center of enlargement is at negative six, four, and it's gonna be twice as big. So to get to the top corner of the shape, we were going along three, we're gonna double that, so now it'll be six along. So the top corner will be here, 
And now we can just draw it, starting here, two times as big. So it'd be up two, then diagonally two, along two, down two, then back two, down two, back two, and join it up again. And we can check our answer by joining all of the points. So each of the points should meet at the center of enlargement. And they do, so we know we've done it correctly.